Media Clan made it all the way down to Avon, North Carolina. We had to drive through Tropical Depression, Elsa. And the moment we set foot here, get out of that car and run to the beach. Since we have got down to Avon, there has only been one thing on the WEA children's mind. things I did before I went on vacation is I prepared my camera for what I was going to be doing. If you've got the Sony a7C, what you want to do is you want to go to facial recognition mode and you want to begin to load in the photos of your family members. You want to go to camera settings, page 14 out of 14, facial recognition. Click on it and now you want to register a new face. When you press the button for that, you're going to get a square in the middle of your camera. Find your family members, put their face right in the middle in a well-lit area, and press the shutter button. And take up to eight. What's great about this is you can then rank your faces in order of priority, meaning the camera is going to find that face and focus on it first. This way, if you're doing something casual or something formal, the camera is going to recognize their face, focus on it right away, and you can take a better picture. doing on vacation is sneaking out early in the a.m. to find a local coffee shop. My favorite down here in Avon is Ugly Mugs. They've got a great cup of coffee as well as some of the coolest mugs that you can buy. Their pastries are delicious. I got a cranberry orange muffin this morning and it's a really cool shop filled with local artisans, their photographies and watercolors. Highly recommend you check it out. Once you get to the beach, it's time to develop your creative style. What I like to do is I like to go into the menu camera settings, go to page 1114 and look for creative style and in there you want to put it on vivid. This takes a while so I like a faster method which is pressing the function button and using the click wheel and then clicking on the vivid creative style. Take your contrast, do plus one. Take your saturation, do plus one. And leave the sharpness at zero. What we're gonna do here is bring out the colors of the beach and the water and the sky because when you're on vacation, your photos tend to be in those three very distinct sections. This way, when you go home, you can spend less time inside of Lightroom playing with your photos. coffee at Ugly Mugs and you got to drive a little bit further down to Hatteras so you can check out the super classic lighthouse. Fun fact about the lighthouse, in 1999 they had to move it 2,900 feet to where it stands today. Fun fact number two about the lighthouse, when you drop your sunglasses and they're cutting the grass, no more sunglasses. Nothing says I'm on vacation better than capturing a time lapse of a sunrise or a sunset. Tonight we are going to do a time lapse of a sunset and the Sony a7C is the perfect camera to do this in. How do you get that time lapse? You want to put your camera into the S and Q mode, which means the uh, slow and quick mode. And then you go to camera settings too. 
page one out of 10, the S and Q recording settings. Click on the recording settings and what that means is your timeline. You can do a timeline for 24 frames, 30 frames or 60 frames. I recommend the 24 frame timeline. That's what most people are editing it. Then you wanna click on your frame rate. This is how many shots will be taken per second. It'll even tell you this will be a slower one, this will be a faster one. My recommendation is you wanna click on the eight frames per second. This will give you a nice time lapse of the sun setting, or if you're an early bird, of a sun rising. But feel free to experiment. The joy of going on vacation is that now you can try different settings to see what they do. about capturing the eight frames per second. If you shoot a 20 minute sunset, that'll break down to about six minutes of actually watching it. If you do four frames per second, that video over 20 minutes will be even quicker. on your vacation is capture the stars with your a7c set your iso to about 4,000 or 5,000. bring your aperture down to as low as you can possibly go remember the smaller the number the bigger the hole it's letting in as much light as possible then you want to figure your exposure i was shooting anywhere from eight seconds to 10 seconds to 13 seconds if you can look up to the sky and eyeball a constellation that you know i recommend it my first capture of the evening was the Big Dipper. Then on the next night, once the clouds had kind of blown away, I was able to capture the Milky Way. It is incredible that you can do these things. Play with your exposure time to see what works best. I couldn't believe it. In a couple of my photos, there were these long streaks. And first I'm like, wow, I caught a shooting star. And then I realized, nah, it's just a satellite. Thanks for coming on vacation with me. Remember to like, comment, subscribe in the description below. I hope nobody got sunburned on our journey today. Although we did lose a pair of glasses, I uh, went down to the surf shop and bought another one. Uh, it took a whopping two minutes to replace these things. The lowest end glasses are the ones that last the best. Like, comment, subscribe in the description below. My name's Oliver Weir, and thanks for coming to the beach with me. I just had to set the camera on my ISO 51,200 just to see what it would look like. And the colors are nice. Nice. The colors are phenomenal dynamic range, right?